Well, hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to try making something new. We're going to try making venison jerky for the first time. I've got my Hamburg meat. Got about roughly three and a half pounds. And what we're going to be making today is I am going to try the mesquite flavoring from Lamb products. So when you're making this, it calls for this entire packet at um, five pounds, but I'm going to go ahead and use the entire packet anyway since I'm at three and a half, um, just be a little bit more flavorful. And it also calls for two and a half cups of water. We want to mix this together until it forms like a tacky paste. Then I'm going to bring it over to my jerky cannon and we'll put it in the dehydrator. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add our two and a half cups of water. It's one cup there. Two cups there. and half a cup there now we're going to go ahead and add in the seasoning mm, that smells pretty good so this is the seasoning here we're going to add in And also the curing packet. Now we're going to go ahead and add our meat. I should really be using rubber gloves for this, but I don't have any, so we're just going to go ahead and wash our hands, and we're going to mix this up with our hands. Oh, this jerky's smelling good already. Wow, haven't even mixed it or started dehydrating it yet. That's the first package. Now mind you, this is the first time I'm making jerky, so hopefully it turns out good. There. Now I want to go ahead and mix this up until it um, becomes a tacky paste. So let me go ahead and wash my hands. Now we want to go ahead and work with this until it becomes a tacky paste. So this process is going to take a little bit, so I'll be back with you once I reach that point. So now I'm going to go ahead, take a big spoon, begin loading our jerky cannon. For this one here, I'm going to be making the flat strips. And 
and we'll make sure our plunger is all the way back. All right, so we got the cannon all loaded. Go ahead and put the plunger on it. And now we're just gonna go ahead and begin forming strips onto our dehydrator. Time to reload the jerky can and I'm gonna go ahead finish out the rest of the tray. Alrighty, so I really don't want to do any more trays than that. As you can see, had a little trouble with the gun on some of these because my meat pieces were not as ground as the other ones, but it looks pretty good. Don't want to, I got one, two, three, four, five, six trays in the dehydrator. I really don't want to go any more than six trays because it takes a longer dryer time that way. So the rest of the meat, I'm going to do the other method, which they say put on a baking sheet, um, cook it for one hour in the oven, but you have to flip it every 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and stop the dehydrator on this one. Maximum temperature of 160 degrees. I'm going to start that up. So that one should take about six to eight hours to dehydrate in the dehydrator. So now I'm going to go get a baking sheet and I'm going to do the um, oven method. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 200. All right, so we got the ones in the oven, all set and ready to go. Go ahead and set my timer on the first 15 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and flip those after the first 15 minutes in the oven. Like I said, the dehydrator, we're just gonna leave. It's gonna take about six or so hours in the dehydrator man this whole kitchen is starting to smell mesquite mesquite meat it smells good all right so i need to show you the first flip because the battery on the camera had died but we got them all flipped now we're on to the second 15 minutes and then i'll flip them again dehydrator is going nicely oh yeah Smells like we're smoking meat in here. It smells really good. Show you what those are beginning to look like. Only been in here half an hour, but starting to firm up already. Let that one go for about another five hours or so. So gonna go ahead and give this 15 minutes a countdown then we're gonna flip them again all right so it's time to flip them again oh this oven is smelling super good yummy starting to firm up nicely it'll be easy to flip this time
Like I said, if you notice, I'm uh, kind of accidentally breaking them as I go. All right, that's the first one. Put you back in the oven. Second one. First flip is definitely the hardest because of the fact that you will have kind of a firm bottom but still a loose top. I'm sure the process would have been much easier if I had a convection oven as opposed to a regular one, but this looks like it's turning out okay. Alrighty, it's been one hour. So the oven version jerky should be done. Let's check it. It was from the top of the top um, shelf in the oven. Still feels a little bit spongy, so I'm gonna have to put that one in on the bottom. First of the bottom one. Thicker pieces are still feeling a little bit on the spongy side. Got one piece here that's totally done. Mmm. Oh my god. That's good. Alright, so he's gonna need a little bit more. Alrighty, moment of truth. Time it says these should be done. Uh, they are looking done. Let's see if they're the firmness they need to be. All right, so we're gonna let this one cool. We're gonna move the spongy ones over to the other one. Stick it back in for another five or so minutes and those should be done. All right, these are done. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Mm. So good. Mm. So good, folks. That is really, really good. Mm. Mm. Better than store-bought jerky, that's for sure. Alrighty, now that is a lot of jerky. Look at all that. Got a few more pieces that aren't quite done. So I'm gonna go ahead, put those on for about another half an hour. These are cooling. Once these are cool, they're gonna go in the bag. That is gonna be some good snacking on our autumn road trips, people. And also my autumn hunting adventures. So I hope you like this video on making your own deer or venison jerky. You can also do this with ground beef too, or even uh, very thin cut steak strips. So we'll see you in the next video.